We you know my mother, Evelyn Leahy Hankel, has been the keeper of our family genealogy for many years. She's collected pictures, stories, and she was very quick to become com uh, computer, computer savvy, and she started very early recording our family history in various ways. For example, here's an early family history that she did on the computer. As time went by, she saw the need for a magazine in Clatsop County that would uh, be focused on family histories. And she came up with the name Tom Tux. <laughs> Tom Tux. Tom Tux. <laughs> More helpers over here. We got helpers over here too. She wrote numerous articles, not only about our family but about other families in Classic County. Uh, as time went by, she wanted to find out more information about our family roots in Ireland. So, as it happened, I was living there with my family in France and. She came over with Patty and my dad, and she and I went to Ireland to look for more family information. Now, Mom didn't know exactly where in Ireland we were from, other than the fact that it was in the county of Tipperary, and she had some names of some towns. So she and I rented a car. I was a driver. It's a little bit tricky uh, with the... Standard transmission shifting with the left hand. Patty's laughing because she did the same later. And so we, we just headed off to Tipperary to try to find more about the family. And we uh, every time we saw the name Leahy or Noonan on a pub or a store, we would pull in and Mom would go right in and she'd start asking questions. I remember the first thing he would say was, who was your grandfather? <laughs> what, what happened? I mean, we, we met some delightful people, but we found no connection to our family down there. We had a wonderful trip to uh, Ireland, uh, but really didn't add anything to our family history. So when Mom got back home she, to uh, the state, she redoubled her efforts to find out more about our Irish roots. And so, and the, this was before the days of the internet, and so she wrote letters, and she decided to put some ads in magazines. And she knew that, that Joanna Leahy, Joanna Noonan Leahy had stopped in Connecticut before going on through the Isthmus of Panama over to San Francisco and then up here to, to Olney that uh, Joanna had stopped and visited her brothers in Waterbury. So she thought, well, there might be some relatives there, but we're not in touch with them. So she put an ad in this magazine, Yankee Magazine, <laughs> figuring, well, uh, you know, somebody in Connecticut might respond. Well, as it turned out, her second cousin, Dan Noonan, was not a subscriber to Yankee, but his neighbor was. So his neighbor told him that someone was looking for him. And this began a long relationship uh, through letters, visits, phone calls with her cousin, second cousin, Dan Noonan, who unfortunately passed away last year. But Dan had been to Ireland several times, and he had more exact information about where the family was from. So mom immediately started to plan another Irish trip. And this time she chose Paulette and Patty, my yes, two sisters, there they yes, are, here. And, uh, as the drivers. And no doubt they can tell you stories oh about shifting gosh. with the left hand and driving on the wrong side. And they, well, along with Dan Noonan and his cousin, headed off for their trip to Tipperary. And this time they had more exact information because Dan knew, actually had contacts there with the family. So mom was really able to collect a lot of detailed information, get baptism certificates, and, and they actually met up with some relatives. So 
So that was a much more productive <coughs> trip to Ireland. So when she got back home, you know, mom is always like, you know, writing. So this time she decided to uh, write for Irish America magazine. Now some of you may recognize this gentleman here, Bono, in, in the YouTube group. He's a, a well-known rock star and uh, a very, uh, he gives a lot to charity. But anyway, he's in the same magazine with Mom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and in there is a nice article on, uh, uh, on how uh, her uh, grandmother, Joanna, made the trip to Connecticut and then eventually here. So um, then after that, uh, Mom started sharing this information with me, and I found this program called Family Tree Maker to really uh, a good storage point for all this information. And I got a copy for myself and for Mom, and we did lots of data entry. Mom, even though we are 3,000 miles away, we would uh, exchange information back and forth. And all that information was stored in the computer. Throughout the years, I've up, updated the uh, program. And as a result, I'm able to take all mom's work and put it into some family trees. Could you get your trees for me, please? And uh, I decided, that since we are a large group, and we uh, are a large tree, <laughs> I, I broke up the tree into three trees. One for each of the three Irish brothers who came here to, to uh, Alney. I think you're going to need help on the other end, honey. <laughs> so, um, I don't know where how we're actually going to do this, but um, so this is what... Tyler, oh, you can hold you. it in, I'm honey. Great, need some help. Tyler wants to help. He can do yeah. it. Yeah, okay. And um, we maybe could eventually put it somewhere where people can look at it and you can hopefully find yourself on the tree. Many of you have given me recent <laughs> you're gonna run out of room there. Uh, recent updates and I thank you for that. Um, and but it's also possible that I didn't get in touch with you and <laughs> and that you're not on there and I apologize if you are not on there. I have a notebook here that I'd like you to um <laughs> so, Eileen, you want them to check it and see if any information is missing on these? Yes. Okay. Uh, so, this is James here. Uh, they're always, they always need additions. Oh, wow. This is cool. We're all John. We're all John. Yeah. And so if you get a chance, I don't know if you can put it out in the grass or something. And wait, it was stones. But if you yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, be careful. Great job. Thank you. Great.